Hey everyone, my name is Bethany and I am the training manager here at Yesware and today I'm going to show you how to maintain your campaigns once they have started. Maintaining your campaigns involves adding or removing recipients from the campaign, personalizing touches for individual recipients, and viewing the progress of your campaign and adjusting as needed. Once you've created a campaign, there's bound to be some maintenance that you need to do on it. For example, let's say that someone picks up the phone and gives you a call in response to one of your campaign emails. Therefore, you want to remove them from the campaign so that they don't get any further stages. To do that, you can either use this search bar to search for the recipient or the individual campaign. Or if you know which campaign they're on, if you go to it and hover over it, these buttons will appear. And if you go to the manage recipients area, you can then use this search bar to search for that particular recipient. And once you've found them in the list, select them and click this remove button and you can remove that recipient. Also from the manage recipients page, you can reschedule touches, skip touches, or move an individual from one campaign to another. So something to keep in mind with campaigns, you're only able to have a recipient on one campaign at a time. So if you need to move them, you know, you can either select the individual, select multiple people, click move to, and then select which campaign you want to move them to. You can export some of this data to a CSV. So if you want to see the email addresses, what campaign their stage they're on, if they've connected, if they've been removed, you can export all of that to a CSV. If you need to filter your recipients, there's this filters section here. So maybe you want to see all of your bad email addresses to clean up your contacts list. Perhaps you want to see who has clicked on a link that you sent in the second touch. You're able to filter. In addition, you can also preview what's going to be sent from this area. So you can find the person whose message you want to preview, click on them, and now you'll be able to see all of the upcoming touches that you have and preview what content will be sent. And you can personalize further if necessary by clicking personalize touch, adding any personalization, and saving that personalization. If you go back to all recipients, you can now see that that was personalized. If you need to add recipients to a campaign, find the campaign, hover over it, the add recipients button will show itself here, and you can continue to add recipients. So these campaigns are able to be used over and over again, and as you add recipients, they will always start at the beginning of the campaign and kind of work their way through. So as you'll see in this relationship building extras campaign, I have one person on the second stage and 11 people on the fourth. And this just means that they were added at different times and they started at the beginning and just kind of worked their way through the campaign. So you can continue to use these over and over again, and the campaigns will stay in this campaigns dashboard until you decide that you don't want to use them. So you'll notice that I have some inactive campaigns here. And if I were to choose to get rid of them, you would just hover over it and click the delete button here. If you need to edit your campaigns, again, just find the campaign that needs to be edited, hover over it and click the edit touches button here. You can edit touches that have recipients actively in flight, but the edits won't overwrite any custom content or any touches sending immediately. So if you have any touches that you have customized for a particular individual recipient, if you were to then edit that particular touch, they would still get the original custom content.
you can also get a sense of how your campaigns are performing with your open percentages, click percentages, and connect percentages. When you're looking at these on the dashboard, this is going to show it by the overall campaign level. If you're interested in a touch by touch level, if you click on the campaign itself, you're able to see each individual touch and the open click and reply rates for that particular touch. If you wanted to do almost like a side-by-side -side comparison of any kind of changes that you want to make, let's say, you know, you're looking at your open rate and think eh, this could be a little bit better. You can either, you know, edit the campaign and just update the subject line, perhaps to see if making it more compelling would get that open rate up, but you could also duplicate the campaign and do almost like A-B testing or a side-by-side -side comparison. And we'll say, you know, changed up subject line and then go ahead and change that subject line, maybe make it a bit more compelling. And then when you save that campaign and, you know, add recipients to it, you can do a comparison side by side of these two campaigns and see whether or not the changing of that subject line had any impact on your open percentage. If it did, awesome. You know, you can delete out the original. If not, you tried something new, no harm, no foul. You can always delete out the duplication. If you have any teams that have been set up in Yesware, you can also share your campaigns with your team members. So if you have a campaign that seems to be working really well for you and you want to kind of share the love there, you can click into the campaign, click this share button, and then choose which team you want to share this campaign with. And to see any campaigns that have been shared with you, just go to this all shared section and you can either choose which campaign or excuse me, which team you want to look at, or just look at all of those that have been shared. And then you can use the content that your colleagues have created. And you're also able to take a look at your success rates with that campaign versus your colleagues overall campaign stats. So if you have a campaign that you are using and have lower than average open click and connect percentages on those versus what your colleagues are doing, you might reach out to one of your colleagues and say, you know, how are you having success with these campaigns? And it may just be that they're going into the campaigns before it sends out and adding some extra notes of personalization. And maybe you aren't doing that. So you can take that opportunity to learn what the difference is there to improve. 